everyone. Good morning, 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 morning. My name is Beatrice and today I'm gonna vlog for the very first time. Whoa! That's why I'm shouting. But like uh, today I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna make my, my first vlog ever. I never did anything like a vlog before, like talking to a camera just because. I'm not used to it, so if I make a hundred mistakes in this video, be proud of me because I think I'm gonna make at least a thousand. <laughs> no, but yeah, today my I'm completely alone in the house, except of course for Bogash, my cat. <laughs> my boyfriend is not here for the weekend, so I just thought, oh, let's hang out with you guys. I'm just showing you my very daily life in these quarantine times, which is turning out to be alright, I like it. <laughs> so yeah, right now it's 30th of May, it's half 10, Saturday morning, I already had like my Herbalife tea, which is like the first thing that I have before anything else, before my breakfast, before... it's the best thing to start the day. I'm going to make my breakfast and I'll talk with you while eating my becky. Let's go! Hello again, I'm drinking my protein shake now, coffee flavor, really really good, like you guys have no idea, like this has been my like breakfast for the past what, like two weeks, something like that, and usually I get like a little bit tired of the same flavor, but like putting coffee, it just, the thing is, I love coffee, I'm a lawyer like Gilmore, right Gilmore, like I am! I like coffee with my oxygen. But I like drinking tea, drinking the coffee, drinking the shake. That's not for me, so let's mix together the plans for today. So today is going I want to be like a really get your life together. Get so I want to do the normal stuff, laundry, I want to clean the bathroom today because like I want to clean, like clean, you know? It's not just like, I'm gonna clean, no, no, no. Like deep cleaning. I love it. I think it's so like... <sighs> and I don't know if you guys like uh, been in that in this mindset, but I, because of the whole quarantine, I've been wearing the same clothes pretty much every single week. <laughs> so today I'm going to take all of my clothes out of my closet and wardrobe. And I, I'm gonna see what I have, what I don't have, and I'm only also going to make like outfits together, outfits together. But in the daily life, I'm like, I have nothing to wear. So I'm gonna wear the same shirt, the same jeans that I wear every single day. So I did a little bit now. I put all my shirts, tops, bodies, everything on the bed. As you can see here, I have all my shirts, tops, of course, except like my the laundry, the, uh, the ones in the laundry basket because those are dirty. <laughs> but now I'm just going to like, uh, 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 I'm just going to like set aside the wintery clothes don't like uh, really really for cold weather because right now in in the U in England it's like 25 degrees it's really summery time so yeah that's what I'm gonna do now and then I'm gonna do the outfits it's me again here <sighs> well I just did the whole clothes. I forgot that a lot of the out the outfits that I had, like loads of tops, some shirts. I was like, oh yeah, I bought you once. 
so yeah now i done that it's what time is it yeah it's like a quarter past three and i'm only going to have lunch now because like on especially like on saturdays sundays but now like in this isolation and quarantine life the hours of the day they're kind of just the, it, that's the thing humans humans we created time we created hours we created like when it's p.m when it's a.m and the fact that like we are all in isolation and quarantine literally like i'm not hungry at 12 or at 1 like i usually was before now i'm hungry a lot of times at like 3 4 5 and like it doesn't matter because i have like my own schedule right now it's literally just listen to my body and that's what i've been doing so right now i'm going to eat my lunch maybe it doesn't have the best like uh, doesn't like have the best presentation or whatever however like it's really really delicious so yeah now i'm gonna eat my lunch i'm gonna edit actually this vlog and also i'm gonna watch the first purge I never watched the first. I, I watched the purge, the first film, but I never watched the film, f the first purge. Makes sense. So yeah, now I'm, while I'm eating my lunch, editing this vlog, I'm gonna watch a film. I think I deserve it today. Good morning everyone, hi! Now today is Sunday, I just finished my yoga flow. On Sundays I like to do more like yoga, stretches. So, I thought the best way now to end this vlog today, before I just get ready and start doing the chores that I have to do today, I thought, because like we're literally in the last day of the month, do a title reading. For the month for the month of June to see what what we can expect from the month I just hope it will be like better than every month we've been through sorry guy okay I really like this title it's like dreams of the Gaia I really really like it six of fire water and fire together Mm, that's interesting. Oh. Eight of fire. So here is the cards that I pull out for the month of June. The three of water in their life, uh, career wise. The six of fire in terms of like relationships, self love. And just an overall for the month of June, eight of fire. Like, by the way, I really, really, really love the draws in the cards. Like, lo lo look at the arts. Like, they they have, like, only looking in the cards, you can kind of see, like, some of the meanings. It just, like, it's, I just love it. They are so, so cool. So, the first one, Three of Water, that it's, like, related with, like, career-wise says keywords satisfaction pleasure joy so the three of water represents satisfaction and indicates that you have come to a time to rejoice in life and your success she stands tall and confident with arms raised in victory celebration she is positive and hopeful 
that her success will continue and so she turns to greet the future in anticipation and excitement. Now, in terms of like relationship, um, like self-love, the six of fire. Keywords, healing, medi mediation, like see what I mean about the cards, look at the card. You see like the two sides and you see in the middle that you don't be, you shouldn't be biased, you should be like open-minded, like the cards are so cool. The Six of Fire represents a time of healing through mediation, negotiation or arbitration. It is a time when communication and diplomacy is required in order to end a conflict or dispute. And last but not least, the Eight of Fire. The Eight of Fire, like, uh, I don't remember her name, but do you remember like when we were children to watch like the Winx? Doesn't this look like, uh, what was the main character name, like Willow? Doesn't this look like Willow's sister when she was like in prison or whatever, I don't remember. Like, they are so similar, literally, I just, I look at this card and I literally remember like the whole show, like Winks, So, keywords, action, change, transformation, rebirth, freedom, renew, purpose and joy. Welcome changes. Wow. I thought like in this month I want to get like my life to get in terms of like my physical health. I want to do more exercise again everything, so the card is saying it's time to act. <laughs> the eight of fire symbolizes transformation through action. Change on a physical level that brings freedom and joy. It is time to set yourself free of unnecessary weight, whether it be physical, emotional, or psychological, so you can move through life with more ease. If I loved this reading, so in terms of like career-wise, ah, <coughs> sorry, my voice. In terms of career-wise, the car, uh, like the cards say that uh, I should celebrate each victory, each step, not just like go for the long-term goal. Like each step celebrates, and the, the success will continue, and have positive and be joyful about it. Uh, but like uh, relationships and self-love and everything. It's um, like being like in the middle, don't be biased, be open-minded, be more like diplomat about it, try to see both, uh, both parties, both sides, maybe both sides can be right and wrong. So yeah, like uh, be the mediator. I like it. And the third, like an overall for the month of June, it's basically take, get your shit together. No, but it's basically it's time to act. It's no more like I love planning. I actually like I love planning. I love thinking about it. I love imagining like how it's going to be the process. But then I never do anything. This is the truth. So I really like this card. So it's time to act. Wow, like I the, this card was actually like on point. So I think I'm gonna like theme the month of June for more like fitness health like sides because if I think for my YouTube I need to do it but yeah guys like we come now to the end of my first vlog I hope you guys like it I hope you enjoy it I apologize for like the 200 to 1000 mistakes that I probably made all right I hope you like it subscribe I, I, I don't know how to say this stuff uh, subscribe uh, Follow me on social media, we we'll leave down below my Insta, my Twitter, uh, and yeah, just don't forget my motto for life, be crazy, be you, just be.